EBMT brings together the very best in the field of HSCT and cellular therapy. Now as the 47th annual meeting and the second virtual edition gets started, we're here to bring you the highlights on EBMT TV. Welcome to EBMT TV. Now, as the world works hard to get back to normal, it's essential that clinicians, nurses, scientists, and many more professionals in the field of HSCT and cellular therapy get together to share the very latest in best practice and research. With a complete and fully virtual program to experience, where better to get all the highlights than here in our virtual EBMT TV studio? Today, watch out for a preview of this year's honorary member and Clinical Achievement Award winners, and take a look at the work of DKMS. First though, it's time for a warm welcome to the meeting from a special guest. Dear friends and colleagues, welcome to EBMT, welcome to our first day to Sunday. As you know, Sunday is traditionally the day that we enjoy a lot of new information from our industry partners in a number of symposia. Today, you're going to have over 20 such sessions running in parallel in five auditoria. The team have made a real effort to make sure that there's no clashes of topics, but at the same time, the new virtual format gives us unprecedented capacity to attend these uh, sessions and also to attend them and see them on demand once the, the, the day finishes. The opening ceremony will be the end of today, and I want to highlight two things of this opening ceremony. First, the honorary membership and clinical award achievements that are going to be finally recognized uh, today. Last year, we, we, we left it on hold, hoping that we'd be able to have a meeting in person in 2021, and we're going to recognize these colleagues today. Also, the keynote lecture in this same area is going to be given by Professor Antonio Zapatero, the medical director of the Madrid IFEMA COVID field hospital, which uh, rather than hosting us for the meeting, had to be transformed in a field hospital to give an answer to the thousands of patients in the peak of the first wave of the pandemic. Last but not least, Please make sure that you visit the Patient and Family and Donor Day. And with more on that, here's Natasha Bolaños. Thank you. The Patient, Family and Donors Day is about learning from the patients. It's about getting together as equals, connecting the EBMT professionals, clinicians, researchers, and nurses with the patient's community. This year, we will meet virtually and we will have space enough to talk about post-transplant care, graft versus host disease, to sexuality and fertility. And you are welcome to join, to ask questions and to share with us your concerns and your hopes. EBMT TV is brought to you virtually from the 47th annual meeting of the EBMT. You can find us at the entrance to the virtual platform via the navigation menu and at the EBMT hub. You'll also find us on the EBMT website and on the meeting app. And make sure to hit the playlist button to check out extended versions of all of our content, from award winners to hospital and donor centre site visits. It's all on EBMT TV. Decades of work in the field of HSCT and cellular therapy has changed the game for patients around the world. Now, honouring the work of some of its most significant members, let's hear from this year's honorary member and Clinical Achievement Award winners. Patients work a long way through their leukaemia treatment and through the transplant, and they deserve all our efforts to do research and to improve their daily life and the quality of life. I started by hammering away tumors using autologous stem cell transplantation. You directed me to the power of the immune system and of the graft versus tumor effect. I must say that when I started doing bone marrow transplantation, that's a long time ago. It's, it's about uh, more than 30 years and uh, I was able to see the introduction of cyclosporin in the field. This is a very exciting time 
almost exactly like when we started many years ago uh, to use new immunotherapeutic uh, agents and cells and engineer the T-cells to treat leukemia relapse. Only working together we can help so many patients in need with stem cell transplantation, with cell therapy, with immunotherapy, with innovative techniques such as CAR T-cell. To all EBMT members, to the EBMT board, I wish all the best and thank you again. Thanks to all of you for making a difference for so many patients. Thank you very much. I wish to thank the EBMT for allowing me to be part of this community. It's a great honor and a great pleasure and I'm very thankful to the EBMT for recognizing our work. So thank you very much for all of this. Now to DKMS. Operating all over the world from Germany to India to Chile, they've over 10 million registered blood stem cell donors. Let's take a look at the latest from them. Our vision is to delete blood cancer. And this means that our mission is that we give as many second chances at life to patients with leukemia or other blood disorders as possible. The DKMS Life Science Lab is based in Dresden, Germany. We are the largest HLA typing lab in the world. Every year we type more than a million samples. Alone last year, we made 7,700 second chances at life possible. Well, that's it from us for our first day here at the 47th annual meeting of the EBMT. Do come back to the virtual studio tomorrow to hear from this year's Basic Science Award winner and the Van Beckham Award winner, as well as a visit to Germany's largest donor registry. We'll see you then.